Classical Brit Awards, sponsored by NS&I. We now come to the Classical Brit Lifetime Achievement Award. And to present the prize, we are delighted to have not one, but two very special guests. One. Anthony Payne is the British composer known both for his own compositions, which have often been performed in this very building, and for the completion of Elgar's Third Symphony. Our second presenter is, amongst many other things, patron of the London Chamber Orchestra, Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Cornwall. This award is an opportunity for the BPI Council and the classical music industry to thank a man who has influenced us in so many ways. I'm speaking, of course, of Vernon Handley, or as he's known throughout the world of classical music, simply Todd. Todd is the champion of British music. His passion for the works of Bax, Elgar, Bliss, and Vaughan Williams is well known. As well as advancing the cause of many British composers, Todd is also instrumental in the encouragement of young musicians. He is regularly conducting the National Youth Orchestra, for instance, and the World Youth Orchestra. He has also been a catalyst in the careers of many of today's recording stars. He conducted Nigel Kennedy's first concerto recording, and later this month will record with Natalie Klein. It gives me great pleasure to welcome to the stage Vernon Handley. Anthony, it is particularly agreeable to receive a Lifetimes Award when, like me, you're only halfway through it. <laughs> it has been an uphill task to take British orchestral and choral music around the world. Some have helped me, some have hindered me. I shall write to them individually, both groups. <laughs> but I must mention this evening one particular group who I must thank because what little I've achieved could not have been made at all without them, and that is the orchestral players. <laughs> they deserve every accolade that we can bring to them. However, tomorrow, my task gets easier because I'm turning my attention to, to um, <laughs> Beethoven. <laughs> Recent research has proved what many of us have already known for some years, that Beethoven was actually born in Chipping Camden. Now, I'm not saying that in the time left to me, I can popularise the music of this man. <laughs> but I'll do my best. <laughs> You'll be pleased to know that my farewell concert is scheduled for 2021. That could change. <laughs> I don't know which the orchestra is, obviously they're all competing for it. <laughs> but the record will be issued, you'll all be able to buy it. In fact, you're all welcome to come to the concert. Only looking at some of you, I think you may not make it. <laughs> In the meanwhile, thank you all for remembering me.
booking tickets straight away. I think so. Now it's time for the...